Hi everybody, and welcome back inside Hobson Fieldhouse for the second game of our doubleheader tonight on VibeFortBend.com. We've got the Marshall Buffs ranked, uh, well I don't know that they're ranked in the top 10 yet in the state in Class 5A. They should be, but uh, the last time I checked they were at 11. But that was before they dropped 96 points on Hightower on Friday night. Anyway, I'm Roger Smith and the Marshall Buffs are taking on the Willow Ridge Eagles in a District 24-5A game. And we can only hope that it will be as scintillating and exciting as the first game that we had as the Clements Rangers gave the Elkins Knights all they could handle in a District 26A boys game. Elkins stayed undefeated in district play, but only by one point, 59 to 58. We're going to step aside and be back to tip this one off. Marshall and Willow Ridge, when we return on VibeFortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st, so go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. Well, the timing's pretty good here. It's 7.06, and we're ready to tip this thing off. The Marshall Buffs, boy, did they ever flex their muscle on Friday night about 250 feet from here. Thank you, Mr. Keener. As they beat Hightower 96-68 to in one of those games that even though the Buffs had five more games left on the regular season schedule, including this one, it left no doubt as to who is the best team in boys basketball in District 24 5A. Chris Marshall on the floor. He will jump center to start this game. You got Jalen Reedus, Omani Ozine, Jalen Lowe, and Chris Ketchings also starting for Marshall against Willow Ridge. And the tap is controlled by Marshall and Ozine. Inside to Chris Ketchings, puts it up off the window, shoots it in for two. Tory Brinson providing good defense for the Willow Ridge Eagles in the royal blue uniforms. White numerals and letters outlined in silver. Now you got Jalen Barnes with the basketball. They work it over to the right side. Kendon Smith trying to find a shot. He's guarded by Ozine. Cross court pass to Jordan Day. Jordan Day thought about a three, couldn't get the shot off. Now it's Donovan Fears looking for someone to throw it to. And you know, Willow Ridge is doing a good job protecting the ball, but they just can't penetrate and get close to the hoop. So now it is Jaden Barnes throwing a cross court pass back between the rings to Kendon Smith. And Smith all the way in and he draws a foul. Chris Marshall guilty of committing it. Marshall is the home team tonight wearing the white uniforms with the black numerals and letters outlined in gold. They have gold stripes down either side of the uniform outlined in black and also gold trim around the neck and sleeves well, where the sleeves would go if they weren't sleeveless. The first free throw no good by Kendon Smith. Just underway, Marshall leading it by a score of two to nothing. And the second free throw is good. Willow Ridge gets within two to one. Jalen Lowe quickly down the floor to Reedus. Now to Chris Marshall, right corner three on the way, too long, no good. Rebound Reedus. 
Gets it to Ozeen, spins the ball off the glass and scores from the right side to make it four to one. So here comes Willow Ridge moving the ball into the forecourt. Jaden Barnes has it, Chris Marshall on him, and that is a scary thing. Especially since uh, Chris Marshall is, I'm guessing, at least six inches taller than Jaden Barnes. By the way, I've been, I'm amazed that my voice is held up through that, that first game. Three-pointer on the way, no good. One-handed rebound by Marshall as the shot was missed by Donovan Fears. Now Marshall on the right wing, thought about the three, kills his dribble, gets it to Ritas, drives into the circle, back to Marshall. Drives to the right elbow, launches a three, and it's good. Seven to one. So here comes Willow Ridge. Willow Ridge has brought some pretty good basketball teams, but they are in a rebuilding year, no question about it, this time around. There is Jaden Barnes, dribbles to his left and gives the ball up to Jordan Day. Jordan Day, a pretty good football player for the Eagles. Marshall is guarding him, but there goes Day along the baseline. Bounce pass, stolen away by Jalen Lowe. It's two on one ahead to Ozine. His shot is no good. Nice hustle by Willow Ridge. The ball last touched by Marshall. So the Eagles will keep it trailing seven to one. Jaden Barnes brings the ball up the floor slowly. There is Marshall to guard him, side to side dribble. Runs into a double team near the top of the key. Now a three on the way from the left wing. No good by Torrey Brinson and Ozine the rebound. Correction, Reedus the rebound. Now Marshall a three at the other end. Missed everything and it bounces off the double doors. That if you stepped out there, well, there's no telling who would be out there, but if you were gonna leave this gym and try to get the shortest route to the high tower gym, well, well, that's the way you would go. I guess it's the south end. Willow Ridge bringing it down the floor. Three on the way. And it's no good by Donovan Fears. One and done. Jalen Lowe the rebound for the Buffs. There he goes all the way through the hoop, through the paint. Throws up a wild shot. And he's fouled in the act of shooting. And Jalen Lowe for a brief moment. Pulled the rubber band out of his hair and his hair exploded. Then he put the rubber band back in. He kind of keeps uh, all the hair on top and in the back. And the first of his two free throws is no good. Still a 7-1 game. By the way, honestly, we were not going to do any more Marshall regular season games. But then we realized that this game was at 7. And the headline game, Clements versus... Elkins was at 5.30, so why not come here and get two of them done? Lowe got the second free throw, steals the inbounds pass, goes in for a slam dunk. It is 10-1. Cross-court pass to Torrey Brinson. Meets a double team, kills his dribble. Cross-court pass to Jaden Barnes into the forecourt. Almost stolen away by Marshall. And a behind-the-back pass. Three on the way for Willow Ridge. No good by Jordan Day. One and done again. Here comes Jalen Lowe of Marshall. Passes up the three, goes all the way to the hoop. Finger rolls it off the window to make it 12 to one. 3.50 to go in quarter number one. Jordan Day kills his dribble, long cross court pass. Safely gets it to Jaden Barnes. Now back to Day and Chris Marshall pokes it away. And it rolled about 40 feet when he did. He ran it down and got an easy layup. 14 to 1 is our score. Timeout Willow Ridge. We'll be back on VipeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. 
We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. We thank the Office Depot in Sugarland, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace for taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. We got the girls playoffs just around the corner as they'll be done with their regular season in about a week's time. Jordan Day got away with the travel in the backcourt. And now they work it to Casey Robinson who drives the baseline, it's no good. And quickly in, Jalen Lowe feeds Chris Catchings and he gets the layup and he's fouled by Donovan Fears. Two and a trip to the free throw line coming for Chris Catchings. Good looking ball player, 6'4", sophomore. Sixteen to one, he could make it seventeen to one. Catchings rattles it home. So Willow Ridge bringing it up, Kendon Smith. Playing catch in the backcourt with Kennard Hughes. Then a bounce pass stolen away by Ozine. Now Marshall thought about the three, meets a double team. Now top of the key, Catchings passes up the three, backs up. Marshall right wing on the way three. No good rebound, knocked away by the Buffs. Marshall will go back on defense. It's been difficult for Willeridge to get it across the midcourt stripe without difficulty. Now they get it to Casey Robinson, launches the three off the basket support. Left side, no good, Chris Marshall. On the long pass assist from Jalen Lowe. Spins it in on the finger roll. 19 to one is our score. Two and a half minutes to go in quarter number one. Jordan Day looking at three buffs and a nice pass to get it down the sideline to Casey Robinson. Shot up no good. Rebound to Catchings quickly down there to Marshall. And I think he got away with the travel. His layup was no good. Rebounded his miss and scores from in close to make it 21 to one. Jordan Day has it, throws it into the forecourt, but right into the hands of Catchings, quickly ahead. That one's stolen away. Now back to Ozine, to Marshall, who is hacked in the act underneath the basket. Casey Robinson, the sophomore, draws the foul, or commits the foul, rather. You know, I was thinking uh, this would be a good night to say we are your broadcast home for Missouri City Sports. As tonight we have Marshall, we have Willow Ridge, and we have Elkins, the only team on the floor tonight in our VipeFortBend.com doubleheader is the Clements Rangers. You know, they're within the city limits of Sugarland. Marshall's first free throw, Chris Marshall's first free throw was good, so is the second, and it's 23 to one. So Willow Ridge trying to carefully get the ball up the floor, but you can't be, can't be too careful. You just have to move quickly. Kennard Hughes into the forecourt. Finds a man open underneath the basket, but the ball goes through his hands. He can't get the shot off clean, so they'll reset the offense. There goes Jaden Barnes. Loses control, now gets it back. He's in the left corner. Throws the ball way up high. That's either Casey Robinson or Jalen Billups. I got to check on the uh, ID on that player. Who wears number one? There goes Ozine. Alley up, two hand slam for Chris Marshall. And when I've gone to these Buffs games, when the game gets really out of hand, like it is right now, 25 to 1, they score, and really there's not a lot of cheering. Willow Ridge gets it into the forecourt. There is Jaden Barnes. He's all trapped, and a pass cross court had a lot of hot sauce on it, tipped out by Jalen Lowe. Ronnie Courtney, the head coach of the Marshall Buffs. He's won state championships with Willow Ridge twice. See, my voice is cracking. He's uh, won state championships with Willow Ridge twice and with Bush once. And he's got a really good Marshall team to work with this year. There's two and a foul. Jordan Day scores. 
And who is guilty of hacking him in the act? And the foul is called on Jalen Reedus. The 6'2 junior. The foul shot is no good off the back iron. 25-3. Jalen Lowe all the way in. Finger roll off the window. Little stop-start move, and he's just so gifted. There's really not much that you can do. Jordan Day, cross-court pass, gets it to Barnes. Here comes the, here comes the trap, and we're gonna, we're gonna have a timeout called by Willow Ridge. 27 to three is our score. This is VibeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, I got an ID. It is Casey Robinson who is wearing number one for Willow Ridge. And they get a score from Kennard Hughes, who gets loose underneath. And that's how the first quarter ends. 27 to five, Willow Ridge trailing the Marshall Buffs. This is VibeFortBend.com. I'm Roger Smith, glad you're with us. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st, so go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. This VibeFortBend.com presentation of a basketball game between the Marshall Buffs and the Willow Ridge Eagles is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tyron Automotive with four great locations in Fort Bend County for the best prices on tires and everything else your vehicle needs to run at its very best. Visit FirstTyronAuto.com. By Archer Volkswagen on the Southwest Freeway just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. They've been open since 1956 and they're ready to serve you. You will feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen. And by the Needville Insurance Agency, you'll get the very best rate on your car and home insurance when you put the Needville Insurance Agency to work for you. Bradley Stavanaugh and his team shop dozens of carriers so you pay the lowest premium possible. Call them at 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. Well, Willow Ridge scored the first basket of the second quarter. In fact, they've scored the first two. First of all, you got Kendon Smith. He dropped, just dropped in a jumper. And before that, it was Kennard Hughes scoring to make it 27-9. But now a three-pointer by Jalen Lowe of Marshall. Seven minutes to go in the half. Casey Robinson steps back, shoots a three. It's long. Rebound catchings for Marshall. Chris Marshall in the open court. Splits two defenders all the way to the rack. Lays it up. Hits the floor. He was fouled. It's 30-9. Marshall on top. And I think this will result in foul shots, but I'm not sure. They're getting that little 
absorbent rectangle thing. You can't call it a broom, but it actually works more thoroughly and effectively than a broom. And Jalen Lowe, you know, he's he's such a great player. I I wouldn't really think any less of him if, if he let somebody else wipe up the sweat, but he did it. So a very nice young man and uh, an assassin on the basketball court. He and Chris Marshall and their very strong supporting cast might be able to do something special in the basketball playoffs, but Chris Marshall misses the first free throw. Donovan Fears comes back onto the floor for Willow Ridge. Chris Marshall massaging the basketball. The second free throw is good. 31 to nine is our score. Kendon Smith walking it up for Willow Ridge cross court pass to Jaden Barnes. Now it's Jordan Day over near the far sideline and back between the rings to Barnes. Quick pass, uh, faking the three and going all the way to the rock. A beautiful finger roll by Kendon Smith as it crawled over the front of the rim. And now here's a turnover. Omani Ozin throwing a pass with a lot of hot sauce on it off the fingertips of Jalen Reedus. Willow Ridge bringing the ball up the floor, trailing 31 to 11. Barnes has it, sends it to the free throw circle to Jordan Day. Can't get the shot. Now he does find a shot, but it comes up short and catching the rebound for the Buffs. Quickly into the forecourt. Low launches a 30-footer, and it's nothing but net. 34 to 11. Six minutes to go before halftime. A near steal in the backcourt by the Buffs. Nice dribbling by Jaden Barnes. Gives the ball up to Kendon Smith. Sent it to Jordan Day near the right sideline and then back between the rings to Casey Robinson. Casey's a sophomore, good looking ball player. Into the free throw circle goes Kendon Smith and now into the corner, three on the way, no good. That was an attempt by Jaden Barnes and here comes Marshall. Ozine gives it to Lowe, back to Ozine. Chris Marshall, I'll bet he shoots it. He does, there it goes, yes. 37 to 11. 5.22 to go in the first half. Marshall looking every bit the part of the team that is undefeated in district play, but there's a beautiful finger roll as Jaden Barnes scores for Willow Ridge. Now an alley-oop to Chris Marshall. Tries to get it to go down. Can't. Taps it back out to Catchings. His left-handed shot is no good from about 12 feet, but he does get the rebound, spins, and gets it off the glass to score on the putback, it's 39 to 13. And there's Chris Marshall stealing it away, going all the way to the hoop and laying one in. There's a student manager for Marshall who's supposed to give us the leading scorers when we get to halftime and I'll bet Chris Marshall is leading the way for the Buffs. Here goes Kendon Smith, almost lost it, gets the ball today, fakes the three, now from the the right corner, the three is no good by Donovan Fears. One and done, and now Ozin, the three, no good. Rebound by Fears of Willow Ridge. There goes Jordan Day to the right corner. Pushing his man out of the way, but he does draw the foul. Ozine committed the foul. And what do we have coming up here? I'm wondering if it's a shooting foul. I believe it is. This gives us a chance to tell you what we have planned for the rest of the week. First of all, on Friday night, we'll have Travis at Clements. That is a huge game. In the first game of our doubleheader, Clements lost to Elkins 59-58. Rangers played their guts out. And then on Tuesday of next week, we'll have Ridge Point against Elkins from right here inside Hobson Fieldhouse. And then a week from Friday night, well, we haven't chosen yet. Possibly Travis Elkins. All right, Jordan Day hit a pair of free throws. It's 41 to 15. Oh my goodness, I forgot to, uh, oh my goodness, I was supposed to plug this sucker in. And it's about to run out of juice. I gotta get it plugged in. I've done this once, one other time this season. Okay, here we go. 
now it's plugged in. All right. Now it won't run out of juice before the end of the broadcast. Oh, what a rookie mistake. But I caught it in time. See, I plugged in one end of this adapter that charges, but I didn't plug in the other end. Okay, well, Lemony Snicket's that would have been a, an unfortunate event. Okay, 4.09 to go before halftime. It is 41 to 15. Marshall leads Willow Ridge. Now into the game, Chase McKenzie. Chris Marshall, right wing three on the way and it's good. So you got Chase McKenzie, he plays for Marshall and you got Ashton McKenzie, plays for Elkins. Have a feeling they're both gonna be winners tonight. 44 to 15 is our score after that Marshall three ball. Fears trying to dribble around Jalen Lowe. Good luck with that. Into Jordan Day. He loses it. Ricky Eaglin into the game. Steals it away, but then throws it away. And there is Kendon Smith. Goes into the corner now. Jordan Day from the free throw line. In and out. No good. Rebound for Willow Ridge. And a score by Jaden Barnes. And a timeout taken by Willow Ridge. We'll take it with him. This is VipeFortBend.com. Hello. I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at Get Great Gigs. Welcome back inside Hobson Fieldhouse. The Marshall Buffs leading Willow Ridge 44 to 17. 321 to go before halftime. McKenzie bringing the ball across the midcourt stripe for the Buffs. Kills his dribble, gets it to Chris Marshall. He's in the right corner, launches the three. It hits the front iron and it's off, no good. Rebound to Jaden Barnes. Jordan Day right down the middle of the floor. Changes direction near the free throw circle, puts it up. Ricky Eaglin fouled him. Jordan Day ready to shoot a free throw as he was hacked in the act. Shot in the air, good. Makes it 44 to 18. And for Willow Ridge, Casey Robinson, whom we've already seen, is coming into the game. And Nick Schock also coming in. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It's that time of year. Jordan Day, second free throw, also good. It is 44 to 19, three minutes left in the half. Jalen Lowe bringing it up. He's got the flamingo colored shoes on tonight and the ball stolen away by Barnes going all the way to the rack and scores. Lowe with a lazy pass. You don't see him turn it over like that. Steps back, puts up a three, that's good. So he eclipses his mistake on the previous possession. There goes Kenda Smith all the way to the rack. And he went right at Ricky Eaglin. And Eaglin kept his arm straight up in the air, but it was not enough to keep the official from whistling him for the foul. And it was in the act of shooting, so Kendon Smith will go to the line.
First free throw in and out, no good. By uh, Kendon Smith, he'll get another one. Second one, back iron and no good. Eaglin grabs the rebound, hands it to Lowe, who is not pressed in the backcourt. Kendon Smith picks him up. Now Chris Marshall back to Lowe. Thought about the three, but right there on defense, Casey Robinson follows Lowe as he moves back near midcourt, side to side dribble between the rings, and the ball poked away. Jordan Day has it quickly ahead to Robinson. His layup is good. Nice defense in anticipation by Willow Ridge. Jalen Lowe quickly down the floor, launches the three, and for the second time in a row, he makes a mistake that leads to a turnover and costs his team two points, and he goes back down to the offensive end and scores three. And a wild shot off the glass. Casey Robinson into the paint, and he puts it up. 50-25, to 25, low toward the right corner, drives the baseline, and gets it to Trey Roberts in the left corner, and Trey Roberts in the scoring book. Scorebook with one and a half minutes to go. It is 53 to 25. Now it's three point time as Jaden Barnes threw up a wild one. It was long, no good. There goes McKenzie back to Chris Marshall. Free throw line now, Trey Roberts left corner again, and again it's good. He was knocked down, but no call. 56 to 25. The only drama sometimes with this Marshall team seems to be will they score 100? They certainly are on a pace for that. Another three on the way, Jaden Barnes, no good, rebound low, pulls up, three from downtown, no good, rebound, Eaglin, layup, put back, good. And as he did it, Jaden Barnes hit the floor, but Eaglin can knock you around pretty good on the basket port, uh, basketball court or the football field. 30 seconds to go in the half, it is 58 to 25. Jaden Barnes going left now, right behind the back dribble. Kendon Smith thinking about the long range three. Goes in right at Eaglin, and he commits an offensive foul with 17.37 showing on the second quarter clock. Fears comes in for Willeridge, replacing Kendon Smith. Those cheerleaders you hear in the background are the Buffs cheerleaders. And now we've got perspiration on the floor at the north end and the official is mopping it up with that square thing. McKenzie wants to throw it in but the official says I need to handle it one more time. Bounce pass into low. Pressured in the backcourt by Shock. Dribbles past him left sideline. Lowe almost got it poked away and a whistle and double dribble on uh, Jalen Lowe. Nine seconds to go and Willow Ridge could get their point total up above 25. Jaden Barnes to throw it in. Looking for Jordan Day, cross court pass almost stolen. Day has it into the forecourt, he goes five seconds. Fears, three on the way, no good. Rebound Eaglin quickly ahead, Marshall. It did not get it off in time, and it's no good anyway. But a dominant first half, just like we had on Friday night when Marshall whooped up on, on Hightower there, whooping up on Willow Ridge. It is 58 to 25. We'll be back, and we'll first break away for this word from the University Interscholastic League. All of us love sports. But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. 
This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year. Subscribe today. What are you waiting for? It's less than a cup of coffee a month. Become a Vibe Insider. $2.99 a month, $23.99 for the whole year. Hey, it's Vibe. We will see you at the games. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. This VibeFortBend.com presentation of the Marshall Buffs and the Willow Ridge Eagles in basketball is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome, by First Tire and Automotive, with four great locations in Fort Bend County for the best prices on tires and everything else your vehicle needs to run at its very best. Visit FirstTireAndAuto.com. By Archer Volkswagen on the Southwest Freeway, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. They've been open since 1956, and they're ready to serve you. You'll feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen. And by the Needville Insurance Agency, you'll get the very best rate on your car and home insurance when you put the Needville Insurance Agency to work for you. Bradley Stavanaugh and his team shop dozens of carriers. You will pay the lowest premium possible. So call them at 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. 
you don't have to leave your home to change everything up and save hundreds of dollars a year, if not thousands on your car and home insurance. And let's face it, parents, you got teenage drivers, you got teenagers and preteens who are gonna be driving someday, and it always is expensive to insure them. But I have already started saving money with the Needville Insurance Agency. And you know, I'm gonna switch over my home insurance and flood insurance as well. Don't miss the boys UIL Basketball State Championship starting Thursday, March 10th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. And I don't want to jinx anything. And of course, I don't believe in jinxes anyway. I think you can talk about what you want and it, it doesn't mean it's gonna keep what you want from happening. I want to go to San Antonio for the Buffs and the Elkins Knights. Of course, we have other Fort Bend ISD teams, but certainly the Buffs and the Knights look like the teams that have the best opportunity to do that. So let's talk about what we have. Well, first of all, we'll talk about the first half of our doubleheader. It was a thriller. Elkins beat Clements to stay undefeated in their district games. The final was 59 to 58. And, you know, there were huge leads, 13-point leads for the Elkins Knights on two occasions. But Elkins, uh, Clements just would not go away. And they end up hitting a three at the end that makes it, uh, you know, it wasn't right down to the final second because you had uh, a free throw that gave the Knights a four-point lead with about eight seconds left and Clements did throw in a three at the end to make it a one point game but it was just marvelous what head coach Hemsey Price and the Rangers did to keep it close and they are still doing okay with a record of six and four in their district 26A games and they have a huge game coming up Friday against Travis and we're going to bring it to you on VibeFortBend.com we'll take a break and be back You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. We thank the Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland. They take care of business every day, helping us bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. So later this week, on Friday night, we got a huge game between Travis and Clements. Now for Clements Rangers fans, they have to hope that after that great performance tonight that came up just short against Elkins, that they won't have some kind of hangover. And if Clements can defeat Travis, as they did the first time around on the Tigers' home court, then they would be in great shape. They could improve to 7-4 and four in their district games. So beyond that, next Tuesday night, we're going to have Ridgepoint against Elkins. And there just aren't too many chances for contenders in District 26A to knock off the Elkins Knights before the regular season game is over. So after the game of next Tuesday, pretty soon the girls' playoffs are going to kick in. And, you know, we'll just have to wait and see which girls' playoff games we broadcast for you. But I will tell you that something appears to be in our future, and that would be a playoff between the Dulles girls and the Austin girls to determine the top playoff seed in District 26A. They have beaten each other. I think uh, each team won on the other's court. I think Dulles won at peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek. And the Austin girls won at Dulles. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a tiebreaker game before we even get the actual playoff started. Speaking of started, we got the second half underway. <coughs> The Marshall buffs going from right to left. Chris Marshall has it near the top of the key. Gives it to Chris Catchings. 
Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank Angelica Washington. There's a steal by Willeridge. I guess I better describe this. There it goes. A move to the middle. Kendon Smith lost the basketball. And now an alley-oop to Chris Marshall. Lost control of the ball, but he did regain control when he came back down. And an easy layup to make it 60-25. to 25. Will the Buffs get 100 points? Okay, so uh, as soon as I get a break in the action, I'm going to give you the scoring leaders for the first half when our score was 58-25. to 25. Steal by the Buffs. Chris Catchings in the open court. He's going to go all the way to the hoop himself. Lays it in from the left side. <clears throat> 62 to 25. We're a minute into the third quarter. Jordan Day near the left elbow. Backs up with the taller Catchings right in front of him. Has the ball near the far sideline. Now he moves to the midcourt circle. Gets the ball over there to Casey Robinson. Cross court pass. Three on the way. No good. A miss by Jaden Barnes. And there goes Marshall quickly down the floor. And a shot block. Casey Robinson blocking Ozine. Now a beautiful cross court pass. But it's tipped away nicely by Jalen Reedus. Okay. So I want to thank Angelica Washington for giving me the scores at halftime. Chris Marshall leading the Buffs with 25 points. Jalen Lowe had 16 at the halftime break. And Jordan Day with 10 for Willow Ridge and Casey Robinson, 6. 62 to 25 is our score. There goes Jalen Lowe inside the three-point arc. Hesitation move, lays it in from the right side. He's just unstoppable. And he got around Nate Reams. And a steal of the inbounds pass. Four points in the span of about three seconds. Chris Marshall pokes it away. And there is a cross-court pass, and uh, the Buffs were trying to get it down the court to Marshall for a dunk, but they couldn't make it happen. Now Chris Catchings gets bumped but makes the catch and foul as he goes up. Casey Robinson commits the foul and into the ball, into the hoop goes the ball. And Chris Catchings with a chance for the traditional style three-point play. It's 68 to 25. We still have 540, I'm sorry, 554 to go in the third quarter. And Catchings hits the free throw. His three-point play is good. They're at 69 points already, and we still have well over 11, I'm sorry, well over 13 minutes left to play. Chris Marshall a steal and goes all the way to the hoop. And a pretty strong foul, and Chris Marshall and Casey Robinson. Marshall took exception to how far, how hard Casey Robinson fouled him. Chris Marshall will go to the foul line. I don't know that I've seen anybody signal technical foul, but I do think that we've had a Marshall Buffs timeout, and we'll take it with them. This is VibeFortMen.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireauto.com, and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. Okay, so I'm not sure, but we might have a double technical. Chris Marshall hits two technical foul shots. So I guess the only technical foul was called against Casey Robinson of Willow Ridge because the Eagles evidently are not going to shoot foul shots. It's 71 to 25 Marshall. And now Ozine quickly into low, his jumper is short. No good, and here comes Willow Ridge quickly down the floor. Nick Schock 
has a pass go beyond his reach. That's unfortunate. Nate Reams threw him a bounce pass, and it was just a half a step too swift. Buffs inbound it to Jalen Lowe. Nate Reams following Lowe as he moves to his right. Inside to Chris Marshall. Long three on the way. Way short. And Chris Marshall thought he was fouled on the three. No foul is called. We got a substitution. Nate Reams comes off for Willow Ridge. And Jordan Day comes back on. Nick Schock to inbound. Having a hard time getting it in. Finally releases it. And the ball is going to belong to Marshall. Chris Catchings, but he lost it. He was on the seat of his pants. Gets it ahead to Fears with a little runner. No good. Rebound by Jalen Lowe. And Lowe pushes it for the buffs all the way to the hoop. Now to Chris Marshall. And two from in close. 73-25 to 25 with 4.54 to go just in the third quarter. Casey Robinson between the feet dribble. Gets it into the forecourt. And Marshall reaching in from behind. And uh, looking like a little tweak maybe on the right ankle. Maybe a cramp. Chris is kind of bent over reaching for his toes. Got to walk that off. Or go to the bench. Behind the bench and walk it off. But he's still out there. Jordan Day will inbound for Willow Ridge far sideline. Gets it into Barnes. Barnes launches a three. No good. Rebound catchings for the Buffs. Quickly ahead to Ozine. Ozine slows down after he crosses midcourt. Buffs in no hurry to get off another shot. Now Jalen Lowe left wing. Guarded closely by Kennard Hughes. Moves to his right. Top of the key. Protecting the ball. Inbound. Inside to catchings and a layup. Good. Nice vision by Jalen Lowe. Finding the open man. 75 to 25, still not even halfway through the third quarter. Stolen by low, quickly ahead to Marshall. This may be a dunk. And he bounced it too hard. Off the glass, no good. Behind the back dribble. And a little floater with the right hand. No good. Jordan Day. One and done again. Here come the buffs. Jalen Lowe, a little floater with the left hand. No good. Rebound tipped up. Lowe runs it down in the right corner. Catchings near the free throw line. Chris Marshall in the left corner. Barely jumped as he launches the three. It's no good. And Rita saves it, but saves it to Willeridge. Now Lowe steals it. Bounce pass to Ritas. Back to Marshall. Marshall, little Euro step move in and out. Tips it up. No good. Gets the rebound. And he's fouled on the way up. And it's either going to be Tory Brinson or Kendon Smith who commits the foul. It is Smith. Marshall's first free throw good. 76 to 25. I'm thinking the Buffs are going to get to the century mark in this game. And I wonder what kind of a reaction we'll have. One thing you don't really have in this game is a heavy presence of sub-varsity basketball players as you do when the game is on campus and you have several games between the same two schools consecutively on a floor. And a foul in the act of shooting as Jordan Day goes strong. And who fouled him? It's Omani Ozin. That's his second. So we saw the Buffs. Let's see, who do they score 100 against? They scored 100. Well, I saw Hightower score 100 at Lamar Consolidated. The Buffs scored 94 at Lamar Consolidated. You know, the Buffs scored 100 in a game that I didn't see. Jordan Day hits the second free throw. It is 76 to 26. 
Low into the forecourt. And he finds Ellery Jones. Between the feet dribble. Drives the left baseline. Bounce pass. Stolen uh, Crawford is on the floor, but he let it get away. And Willeridge quickly down the floor. And now a steal by Reedus. Down the floor he goes. He's pushed from behind. Casey Robinson pushed him. I hope you can forgive me if, uh, you know, 237 left in the second, a third quarter of a 40 point game. Low launches the three from the left corner, no good. Rebound pulled down by Damian Rasko, who's into the game for Marshall, but he couldn't hold it. And quickly down the floor, Day, his layup rolls off, no good. And Ellery Jones tries to bring the ball up the floor, gets it knocked away, and. He touched it last. So Willow Ridge forces a turnover. Anyway, it's kind of hard to finish thoughts when it's a 40 point game. Now 2.20 to go in the third. But we just want to get as used to calling Buffs games as we can. We might have quite a few to call later in the month of February and then even in the month of March. That would be fun. I said a 40-point game. It's actually 50-point spread, 76-26. So just shows you how my concentration can wane when there's really not too much going on. And now a turnover by the Buffs. Reedus had it go out of bounds on the floor now for the Buffs. You still have low, but other than that, it's non-starters. you got Chase Crawford, Damian Rasko, Oh, Jalen Reedus actually, one of the two starters still on the floor, and Ellery Jones. Jaden Barnes across the midcourt stripe. Sends it to Fears on the left wing. Now between the rings, Jordan Day backing in inside the arc, kills his dribble. Hands the ball to Nate Green. Nate Green gets it to Fears on the left wing. He just cannot find his way in close. The freshman Chase Crawford guarding him. Now it's Casey Robinson with it. Into the paint he goes. And he goes all the way to the hoop and scores. Jalen Lowe bringing it down the floor. He puts it up with a soft left-hander. No good, but the follow by Reedus is good to make it 78-28. 107 to go in the third. Jordan Day down the far sideline. Set to come in for the first time for... These Willow Ridge Eagles is number 11. I don't know who he is. I'll check at the next break. Three-pointer missed by the Eagles. Low entry pass, Chase Crawford, the freshman, all the way to the rack. 45 seconds to go in the third, and it's 80 to 28. Willow Ridge slowing things up and no pressure in the backcourt by Marshall. Reedus following Day. Cross court pass to Robinson. Robinson wanting one of his teammates to come over and set a pick for him. Tries to get around Rasko, drives into the paint. Throws up a wild shot. Rasko just tosses it to no one. Fear steals it for Willow Ridge. From the free throw, he comes up short. And the rebound to the Buffs. 12 seconds to go. Low dribbles between two defenders. Clock is now at seven seconds. I'll bet he puts up a three point bomb. Four seconds, three seconds. There it goes. No good. We've played three. It is 80 to 28. This is VibeFortBend.com. Marshall having its way with Willow Ridge. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. 
Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. All right, so the Buffs have still left a couple of starters out there, Redis and Jalen Lowe. Willow Ridge gets it to start the fourth quarter, trailing 80 to 28. It is Devontre Moses who wears number 11 for the Eagles, and he throws the ball in to start quarter number four, gets it to Jaden Barnes. And Jalen Lowe steals a bounce pass, and Lowe... Go into the rack, gets his man in the air off the glass. It's good. Settled for a five-foot fadeaway jumper. It's 82 to 28. Oh, boy. Now we got another player I can't identify. Where's number four for Willow Ridge? There's Jordan Day. Thought about a long three from the top of the key, but then throws it over on the right side to Nate Green. Wild layup, no good. Jalen Lowe, the rebound for the Buffs. From the right wing, inside Damian Rasko, easy two. More demonstration of the great court vision of Jalen Lowe, but of course, uh, Willow Ridge is kind of discouraged. Except Jordan Day just bombed a three, 84 to 31. There goes Lowe, nice ball handling. Launches a three. No good, rebound, Crawford for Marshall. Is he gonna shoot a three? No, it's a bounce pass underneath to Redis. And a foul called on Jordan Day of Willow Ridge. Trey Roberts and uh, Chase McKenzie in for Marshall. Jalen Lowe and Jalen Redis come out. Ellery Jones, three on the way, yes. <clears throat> We're at 87 to 31. I may not be a smart man, but the Buffs are 13 points away from 100. Jordan Day launches a three, no good. Chase Crawford quickly ahead. There goes McKenzie all the way to the rack and it's good, 89 to 31. Number four with it for Willow Ridge. There's Devontre Moses on the left wing, a little too far to fire away. Jordan Day goes inside the arc, puts it up, crawls over the front iron, and goes down through. 89 to 33, our score. Quickly down the floor, Chase Crawford tipped the pass to himself. Now to Damian Rasko, bounce pass to Ellery Jones, is knocked down. Devontre Moses steals it for Willow Ridge. And two layups missed by the Eagles. First by Nate Green and then by Devontre Moses. Trey Roberts driving the baseline, no good. Damian Rasko goes up, lost the handle. There is no handle on the ball. I don't know why I keep saying that. I don't know why anybody says that. 5.34 to go in the game and a turnover by the Buffs. I didn't handle that possession well either. You can lose control, but you can't lose the handle. There's no handle on a sphere. 89 to 33. There's a three on the way by Willow Ridge's Nate Green. It's no good. Chase Crawford into the forecourt for the Buffs. He launches a three. It's too long, no good. Rebound fought for and taken by Willow Ridge. Near steal in the backcourt. Jordan Day gets it into the forecourt. Did I say forecourt twice? I meant backcourt, then forecourt. Now Jordan Day is knocked down by Damian Rasko as he shoots what I believe was a two. He was pretty close to the three-point arc. So it was a foul on Rasko. Wow, Marshall cheerleaders play for keeps saying miss it, miss it when they're ahead by uh, 65. 
Jordan Day did make the first one. It's off the front iron, no good. Trey Roberts grabs the rebound for the Buffs. Meets a double team in the backcourt. Gets the ball to McKenzie. Through the middle, gets it back to Roberts. Now cross court pass to McKenzie. Willeridge very aggressive with the defense and a foul committed. You know what? I'm going to run a commercial because I got to know who number four is. I just have to know. We'll be back. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Okay, we're back. I had to check on who's number four for Willow Ridge, and it's Tiandre Lee. So I really wish that I had been able to say Tiandre's name, but uh, it wasn't on my list, so I went over to Mr. Mike. Okay, thank you so much. That is the lovely and talented Angelica Washington, who tells me that Chris Marshall, who is done for the night, has 33 points to lead all scorers as Chase Crawford is at the foul line with 3.54 to go it is 89 to 34 Marshall Crawford a 6-2 freshman is free throw off the back iron no good Rasco almost grabbed the rebound for Marshall but it ended up in the hands of Tiandre Lee and there goes Nick Shock little out of control for Will originally lost the ball to Rasco now Several players fighting for the ball in the defensive end for Marshall, but it goes, la goes out last touch by Willow Ridge. It was either, oh, thank you so much. By the way, Jalen Lowe, 20 points. He's probably done for the night too. Chase Crawford gets it into Rasco. And Chase Crawford and Damian Rasco just can't quite make the connection there. It's still Marshall ball though. Willeridge knocked it out. McKenzie to inbound along the baseline. Crawford in the left corner. Spin move going down the baseline. Gets it to Rasco. And a foul on Willow Ridge. And that will result in a one, of one, uh, one and one at the free throw line because that's the eighth foul of this second half by the Eagles. Join us on Friday night, 6.45 p.m. for the game between Clements and Travis. It's a big one. The loser might just uh, be done with playoff hopes. Not necessarily, but maybe. All right, Tiandre Lee dribbling, launches a three over Ellery Jones, but it's no good. Rebound grabbed by Nate Reams. He gets stripped on the way up. Now it's Ellery Jones going to the hoop, off the glass as he fades away on the left side. It's 91 to 34, three minutes to go. Kendon Smith has it, has the ball stripped, ball loose, but it's uh, Nate Reams of Willow Ridge picking it up, and he scores from in close. It's 91 to 36. We got a timeout. We'll take it with him. It's VibeFortBend.com. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, we'll back, we're back at Hobson Fieldhouse. The Marshall Buffs scored 96 points on Friday night at Hightower. They have 91 points, and we still have 2 minutes, 50 seconds left. And I'm just not sure. I've never really asked Coach Ronnie Courtney how he feels about going for 100 late in a game. Clearly, the issue is settled, and he has taken all of his starters off. Now there's some kind of discussion. Wow. Looks like there might be just a slippery spot on the floor. I don't know. I just don't know. They had my new best friend Angelica Washington go out there and check it out. Trey Roberts in the backcourt has the ball for the Buffs. He's going all the way to the hoop, but he's fouled by Nick Schock and he will go to the line for two shots. So there are so many trips down the floor that result in foul shots that, you know, even if, by the way, I thought it was going to result in foul shots, but it's not. Damian Rasko has it, drives down the baseline, and he traveled before he got the ball into McKenzie's hands. You know, I think a guy at the scorer's table is trying to tell the officials that that should have been foul shots. And I think he just got a little wave off gesture thing. Teandre Lee launches a three. It's no good. Rasko the rebound for the Buffs. Here comes McKenzie into the forecourt. He's going to go to the hoop all the way in. Backdoor layup rolls around and goes down. The score is 93 to 36, 215 to go. And nobody knew the pass was coming, but Willeridge does maintain possession. Kendon Smith and whistle, foul, I guess. Yeah, it's a foul on McKenzie of Marshall. Fears to throw it in far side for Willow Ridge. Fears fakes a pass, now sends it into the backcourt to Kendon Smith. Now uh, getting away with a travel was Nate Green. Now he launches a three. It's no good. Rebound McKenzie. Here come the Buffs. Seven points away from the century mark. McKenzie looked like he was thinking about a three. Now he's going to drive to the rack. Now it's into the corner. Trey Roberts, three on the way off the side of the backboard. No good. Rebound fought for, and Fears grabs it for Willeridge. Here come the Eagles. Fears in the middle of the court between the rings. Sends it over on the right side and a three on the way in and out. No good by Kendon Smith. And the rebound, Ellery Jones quickly ahead to Rasko. His layup rolls off. No good. Chase Crawford grabs the rebound and Johnny on the spot. Kendon Smith sneaking up behind Chase. Knocked it out of his hands. So with 124 to go, seven points away from the century mark. McKenzie will throw it away right in front of his team's bench. So you don't know if Coach Courtney is telling him one thing or another as far as going to uh, going for shots that would get him to 100. I don't know if he wants that to happen or if he doesn't. There goes McKenzie, side to side dribble, looking inside. Chase Crawford, looks like they're bleeding off some time here. 108 to go, there goes Crawford, right side of the free throw line and drives toward the hoop and a foul on the floor, but if you're gonna go by the book, then there should be foul shots coming. Kendon Smith, guilty of the foul for Willow Ridge. Four on him, as the freshman Chase Crawford goes to the line, first free throw good. 94 to 36, 105 to go. They had a big crowd inside Hobson Fieldhouse as the second free throw is good by Crawford to make it 95-36. So we had a big crowd in here for Elkins versus Clements plus the early crowd had come in for this one. 
So we had a whole bunch of folks in here, but since this one has gotten so one-sided, a lot of people have left. It's 95 to 36, 50 seconds to go. Willeridge just playing catch. Fears trying to drive in on McKenzie. The ball poked away by Rasco. There goes Damian in the open court. All the way to the hoop. And McKenzie scores to make it 97 to 36. 33 seconds to go. I think if Marshall gets their hands on the ball one more time, they may put up a three. The question is, do they get the ball? Yes, they do. Trey Roberts with the steal. And there goes Trey Roberts all the way to the rack. Actually, McKenzie got the steal and Roberts scored. 15 seconds to go. And Ellery Jones, he launches a three. No good. Rebound, eight seconds to go, and a foul by Rasco. Rasco fouls Kendon Smith in the backcourt, I think. Just over seven seconds to go, and there will be free throws for Willow Ridge, I guess. Yes, there will be. 99 points on the board for Marshall. They were walking down to the end at which Willow Ridge has been shooting. Now they're walking back to the end at which Marshall is shooting. But it'll be Willow Ridge ball down there. I don't think Coach Courtney wants them to go for a steal, and they will not. Three seconds, two seconds, one. And it is mercifully over. Our final score, 99 to 36. The Marshall Buffs get the win over Willow Ridge and they remain undefeated in District 24 5A play. They are just rolling to the playoffs. They have four regular season games remaining. And we don't expect to be broadcasting any of those because we expect the Buffs will win them easily. And we will turn our attention to District 26A where we have some close races, especially on the boys' side. But we also have a collision course, perhaps, between the Austin girls and the Dulles girls to determine the champion on the girls' side of District 26A. So, our leading scorers, Chris Marshall with 33 to lead the buffs, and Jalen Lowe came up with 20. So 99 to 36 is the final score, and the Buffs improve to 23 and 2. They are some kind of basketball team. So for everybody on the VibeFortBend.com team, Roger Smith saying, "So uh, we so much appreciate you being with us, and we will join you again on Friday night when we bring you the game between Travis and Clements. It's a big one. It starts at approximately 6:45 p.m." So thank you again for listening. Good night and God bless. And we'll talk to you on Friday. This has been a VibeFortBend.com presentation.